Hi, my name is Fateen, and I want to share with you a testimony of something very powerful and significant that happened in my life. And it was when the Lord healed me of a terminal illness. And you know, there might be some of you that are watching this video right now that you're facing a situation that just seems absolutely impossible. The medical system hasn't been able to help you. Um, you know, all of your best efforts haven't worked and you have a scenario where you need a miracle. And even if you don't need a miracle, go for one and anyway even if it's just a common cold or or a he little headache or something you can still walk in the fullness of health that God has for you but it was several years ago now when I was doing urban ministry in Vancouver actually Canada when I began to notice my system kind of slowing down I was getting real tired I went and got it checked out um, because I wasn't quite feeling myself and the doctor told me that I had been diagnosed with something called autoimmune hepatitis um, it was a condition an autoimmune disorder that often came upon young women uh, they said that they didn't know what triggered it and they also didn't know how to cure it um, but they did know how to manage it. And just to kind of explain what it is, is it's an autoimmune disorder. I'm not a doctor, but from what I understand, um, you know, at least with this autoimmune disorder, what happens is it, it identifies uh, a certain type of cell in your body and it thinks that that cell is sort of an enemy agent or whatever, and it begins to attack that cell. So in my case, it was the, the liver cells. Um, it begins to attack that cell or attack that part of the body until that party is, that part of the body is is just basically no more is dead and um, you know it's very dangerous because your body doesn't know how to shut itself off right because it, it just keeps going uh, the immune system keeps going until until basically it it wins right and so um, yeah it was a pretty serious situation and I was in my mid 20s I had my whole life ahead of me still do and uh, you know I needed God you know and I remember going back to the Lord and I remember just saying God you know you're not done with me yet you know you haven't uh, called me to be you know in a graveyard in my mid 20s you are not finished with me yet and you have a call in my life there were prophecies that were over my life and this is one reason why I love the prophetic word because when you get a prophecy and you lay hold of that prophecy, you know, it can be, th those are fighting words in, in these types of situations. And you know, I want to encourage you to lay hold of the prophetic words that God has put on your life. And so there were prophecies that were over my life that had not been fulfilled. And one of the prophecies was that I would travel internationally as, and I would do missions work internationally. And with an autoimmune disorder, you can't get vaccinations. And so you can't uh, go overseas, right? at least not with a, a Canadian passport into a lot of the nations. And so anyway, so I began to get in God's face. I said, God, you know, you're not a liar. You're not a man that you would lie. And your promises are absolutely true. And I know that you have called me to go to the nations of the earth. And so you've got to heal me. Either the doctor's assessment is true or your word is true. And I'm just going to choose to believe. I'm going to fix my spirit in faith. You know, whatever you put your faith in, you empower. And, you know, I had a choice. I could either put my faith in what the doctor was saying and saying yeah what he's saying is right obviously he's a doctor he knows you know what he's doing because he went to school for it or whatever and I I respect those in the medical profession but when uh, the doctor's report doesn't line up with God's report you know you have license to you know to lay hold of, of that supernatural report right and so I said I am gonna choose to believe that your word the prophetic word over my life but also just your word that by your stripes I am healed you know that your word word has more authority and more power than anything I'm feeling in my body and anything that that uh, the the natural sort of assessment would say and so you know I honored the doctor and I, I did um, you know the different treatments and stuff but I did not put my faith in it anyway the treatments weren't unto healing they were just to kind of maintain um, you know some level of sort of slowing down the autoimmune disorder and so I began to press in in faith and you know the Lord gave me a couple keys he said first of all he said faith in you're in faith he said don't share your your sort of contending for healing don't share what you're going through with anyone that doesn't have faith as well because you don't want anyone that's gonna bring your spirit down 
down. You don't want anyone else that's going to be speaking words of death over your situation. You want only people that will speak faith. And so I shared just with a couple people at my church, a couple people at my home group, and we just began to hit it. And we just said, you know, God, this is your word. We just began to lay in and say this. And what ended up happening is a series of events sort of unfolded where I was at a, a church meeting. There was a guy that called me out on a word of knowledge. He said, there's somebody in this room that has an autoimmune uh, disorder that they're struggling with is preventing you from going to the mission field. And I was like, that's me, that's me, you know? And I went up, I got prayer, and that prayer began a series of things that God showed me. He showed me where I had opened my open doors to the spirit of death. And so I renounced that. I said, Father, I, I renounce every way, every place that I have come into alignment with the spirit of death or self-hate or anything like that. Any place where I have allowed this thing to come into my world, um, I repent in Jesus name and I did all that kind of maintenance and um, you know I also prayed into to any generational curses that were over my life and and just asked the Lord to show me if there were any doors that needed to be shut that had been opened that had allowed this disease to come in and there were there were a few different things the Lord showed me but after we had the breakthrough on that stuff we just began to lay in uh, continue to lay in excuse me by faith and just believing God to secure the victory of my healing and I will never forget the night where one of my friends, her name is Ingrid, uh, she laid hands on me and she just has a, a spirit of faith on her, you know, and she laid hands on me and the power of God came through her hands, came into my body. I literally felt it was like a holy injection of the power and the presence of God just came into my body. And in that moment, I just knew it. I just knew that I was healed and I knew that it, that it was done, that what we had been praying for, that whatever had been blocking the healing up until that point in terms of the manifestation of the healing, that it had been broken, right? And so I came out of that prayer uh, encounter with the Lord and with my friend Ingrid and the Lord said this to me he said now Fatine he said I want you to hear this and he said you now need to stand in faith in the finished work of the cross and he said you know if the enemy comes and he tries to convince you that you're not healed you just rebuke that thing and he said even if you feel aching in your body you feel a uh, sort of I call them a, a lying symptom you feel something that doesn't line up with the truth that by my stripes you are healed then I want you to rebuke that thing and you stand in faith that it is finished, that, that it's done, you know what I mean? And so, um, so I just determined in my spirit that no matter what my body said, no matter what anybody else said, that I knew that I was healed and that, that, that was it, it was done, it was finished, right? And so anyway, I went back to the doctor to do blood, the next set of blood work, and I remember they took me into this back room and there was this nurse, I call her the nurse of Grim Reaper's Doom, you know, and she sat me down and, you know, according to the last assessment, things I guess were getting worse and so, according to the last assessment, and uh, so she sat down and she showed me this little sponge liver uh, model thing and she said, you know, basically this is what's going to happen, your liver is just going to get harder and harder and then, you know, basically, eventually you're just going to die, you know, she was pretty negative actually and I'm just sitting there just like wow you know just just honoring her and in her profession and in my spirit I'm like I do not receive this I do not receive this at all I bless this woman but I do not receive this negative report and so after she finished I just said you know thank you very much for your time ma'am and I, I went off to do the blood work and stuff and booked the next appointment and I said to the secretary while booking the next appointment I said ma'am you are about to see see the quickest healing that you guys have ever uh, recorded in this office of autoimmune hepatitis. I look forward to the next appointment uh, to confirm basically my healing. And so walked out of the office with absolute faith. You know, it was almost like the enemy just tried to rock me off, tried to push me off my, my faith rocker, so to speak. And, uh, you know, right after I knew that the victory had been secure, he immediately set somebody in my path to try to discourage me. And, you know, just rebuke it. Don't, don't be, you know, mean or negative with people, but you just, you stand against that, that thing in your spirit. You do not receive the negative report. And whatever you put faith in, you empower, right? And so let's put faith in what we know 
God has said over our lives. And so I, I walked out just absolutely fortified in my spirit, just determined, and uh, came back uh, several weeks later, or a few weeks later, and uh, sat down with my doctor. I'll never forget, he opened up his file, looked over my numbers, took off his glasses, and looked up at me and said, Fatine, I don't know what you've done, but you, you are absolutely healed. Your blood work and your liver enzymes are completely normal. And he said, you know, I'm a believer too. And, uh, you know, I'm just so happy for you that you got this miracle. And I was like, yes, you know, I knew it. So, uh, you know, he just uh, did the, the final assessment and basically sent me on my way. And within a matter of months, I had vaccinations and I was um, headed to the mission field in West Africa and absolutely had the victory. And those prophecies that I was contending for that I was getting in God's face and saying, God, you said, you know, and uh, your word is powerful and you are powerful to perform it, that every single one of those particular prophecies have now come to pass. I've still, now I've got other ones I'm laying hold of, you know? And so I want to encourage you, whatever your situation is, that God is able and I know many of you probably watching this live in nations where there isn't a medical system, where, you know, it's hard to get natural medical care. You know what? In a weird way, that's a blessing. In a weird way, to be absolutely dependent on the Lord is a blessing because guess what? God is not powerless. He is able to come and infuse your body with supernatural healing. It's what Jesus paid for on the cross. And if we lay hold of it and access the power of what he paid for on the cross, you know, we can have it manifest in our physical bodies. And so I want to pray for you right now. And so, Father, I just thank you right now for everybody watching this. Father, I thank you that you are teaching us as your people in this hour to walk by faith, not to fix our eyes on what we see in the natural, but to fix our eyes on the unseen realm and the power of your cross and the goodness, God, that you have to release it into our lives. Father, I pray for every person that's watching right now. God, I pray for those. I just see someone right now that's watching that is going to be watching this video that uh, you know you are you've gone through chemotherapy and uh, there's a terminal there's a cancer um, proclamation that's been put over your life and in Jesus name right now father I just release the glory of Yeshua the glory of Jesus Christ over that person and I command those rebellious cancer cells to come into alignment with the Spirit of God father I pray for those that are having kidney issues I pray for those that are having heart issues and palpitations father even those that need a touch in their eyes and in their teeth God their ears everything Lord we just pray right now in Jesus name that you would just break out and touch every single person Lord even as Ingrid laid hands on me and prayed for me in that moment God I now pray for every one of my friends that is watching this video I just feel like there's somebody that's watching right now that you've got an issue with your kidney and there's something that's happening with the fluid uh, in your kidney and draining from your kidney and Father in Jesus name right now release Release that. I, I believe God's doing something with eyes right now. I just have faith for this. Father, I just thank you that you're touching people's eyes right now, God, that you're making wrong things right. Father, I thank you for touching diabetes right now. Lord, release the fire of Yeshua, the fire of Holy Spirit over them right now. And Lord, just bring the full manifestation of the power of the finished work of the cross into their bodies. And Lord, I pray also for a spirit of faith, God, that would come upon people that when your healing power touches them, that that they would stand in it and having done all stand and even if there's a negative report by somebody or so and so that they would stand in faith in the finished work of the cross and that they would see the victory and the promised land manifest in their life and world I just bless you in Jesus name and I believe with you for a miracle so you know feel free to email me I love to hear testimonies so feel free to email me and let me know what God's doing in your life in this area and I'm believing with you for an awesome, awesome testimony of supernatural healing for your life and your loved ones. God bless you. See you later.